This life was all I ever wanted. I'm not leaving. Not yet. I was hoping you'd say that. We gotta hit the streets, make some money. People like us must destroy people like him. Buckle up. Get Showtime free at Showtime.com. People can complain about Saturday's card, at least on paper. Again, we know it over-delivered relative to expectations. But I got to tell you, I got high expectations for this upcoming Saturday card, BC. There are a ton of good fights on there. Shout-outs to Josh Emmett versus Shane Burgos, by the way, which should just be an absolute firecracker. But you can go up and down that card. I mean, there are a ton of good fights. The main event to me is really interesting. Curtis Blades is going to take on Alexander Volkov, BC. And I got to tell you, I was thinking about this. We'll pitch it to you here again one more time. What would you say are the stakes? Because here's the context. I think uh, Blades is ranked third in the heavyweight division. The two ahead would be Cormier and Francis. And then you've got Volkov, I think, sitting just outside the top five around seven. So you think to yourself, okay, if Volkov wins, he'll probably jump into the top five, some fresh blood, blah, 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 blah. But what if Blades wins? Where, where does he go? So break this down for me. What does the winner really get here? I mean, you get some, you know, for future placement higher up the heavyweight rankings, but it's a couple problems here. One, there's, you know, look a bit of a log jam. We're going to get DC Steep 3 Steep A uh, August 15th, which, by the way, I'm fired the hell up that we're getting this during a quarantine too. Hell yeah. Um, and by the way, Dana teased, Luke, I know you're going to be angry at this, but he teased. Maybe we'll get a full arena by then. I don't know if the COVID numbers will back that up. But you got that. You got Francis Ngannou waiting in the on-deck circle. We got the unknown element of John Jones moving up. So the winner's not going to necessarily get anything outside of, if you're Volkov, you better be careful you don't get a stay busy against Ngannou by winning this fight. Although, obviously, he's a competitor. He would want that. Um, it's just a good main event between, you know, top five-ish guys, Luke. I'm not going to oversell it. Here's the thing. I actually like Curtis Blade's chances to win. It's a shame that he lost the the rematch with Francis over in China however long ago because, honestly, I think he'd be a really tough fight for Stipe. People might laugh at that and tell me I'm crazy. I'm not saying he'd win, but, again, would he be a tough fight? I think that he would. Against Cormier, it's a little bit harder to say, but Cormier's got one more against Stipe, and then he's out anyway, so it's not even really a relevant concern. The problem is if Blades wins, he just literally keeps exactly the same spot, but what is he supposed to do? Just not take fights? He's got bills to pay. He's got a legacy to build. He's got a name that he is trying to, to grow here against as many opposition or, you know, uh, uh, contemporaries as he can. And he wants to headline cards. Like These are all things that he wants to do. He's just in a really, really tough position to get a third fight with Francis, especially before Francis, if, when he gets a title. So it, it's a rough spot for him. But I like the fight. I like the matchup. I like the test for both guys. I tend to favor Blades to win. But Volkov has dramatically improved since his days over in Bellator. Um, this is a great fight. And I mentioned BC down the card. This is so much better than last weekend's card on paper. Listen to this. As I mentioned, Josh Emmett taking on Shane Burgos. This is your co-main event. Oh, my God, it's so good. Raquel Pennington, Marion Renault, Lyman Good versus Bilal Muhammad, Jim Miller against Roosevelt Roberts, who's back in action. How about this? On the prelim card, BC, Clay Guida, Bobby Green, Tisha Torres, Brianna Van Buren, Mark andre Burial versus Oscar Pajota. Okay, I can skip that one. Courtney Casey taking on Jillian Robertson. Frank Camacho against Matt Frivola. Roxanne Modafferi against Lauren Murphy. And then Austin Hubbard against uh, late replacement Max Roscoff. I mean, this is a great, great card on Saturday. Will it deliver? I guess in the end we'll see. But, you know, compare that to the top ranked cards. I'm not even sure I can name three fights that are happening on top rank this week. I mean, that's the thing I like about, like, you know, you mentioned that Mata Furry fight. That's buried on the early prelims, yet that's kind of like a top five contenders fight in that flyweight division. And as much as you loved or didn't like on paper what Calvillo I could have given you, I mean, that's basically to, you know, to create a number one or two contender in that division as well. So at least the fights have meaning and we're getting them. A lot of people I want to see on this card. Would you think the winner of this fight would either get uh, Overeem or Derek Lewis? Which one would you prefer? Ooh. Okay, if it's Volkov, if it's Volkov, I'd want to see... Do you want to see the Lewis rematch? I'm not sure how I do want to see the Lewis rematch because he got a one in that Hail Mary. I guess maybe yeah. I would. If it's Blades, I wouldn't need to see the Overeem fight again. 
the 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 Derek Lewis fight at that point. I guess Derek Lewis sort of bust at this point. I'm not sure where exactly uh, Overeem goes from here, but of course, you know, obviously he's a top contender as well. What about you? Uh, give me any of them. It, it, we're we're in a really good spot at heavyweight. You know, not just the the higher end stuff that I mentioned, but uh, I mean, there are times when you got too many Czech Congos and Roy Nelsons in your heavyweight division, and we've been there before. Now is a good time, so I I, I kind of like where these fights are going. This life was all I ever wanted. I'm not leaving. Not yet. I was hoping you'd say that. You gotta hit the streets, make some money. People like us must destroy people like him. Buckle up. Get Showtime free at Showtime.com.